first they had an interview for all the five foot eight and taller girls. We all had to show up in bathing suits. And um, I wasn't picked the first time because I facially don't match her. So they went with a girl that looked identical facially. And I guess a few episodes in, it wasn't, I mean, God, I hate to say this. I, I, the agility meant a lot, and I, I have a lot of agility, and this girl didn't, and that's, so, but that's okay. It ended up being my job anyway, so I had gone away to do Close Encounters of the Third Kind with, with um, Steven Spielberg, and when I got back, I did. I They were starting back up, and they had another girl working, and somebody told me that she was working out there, and they told me they were interested in having me back. My little brain said, why don't you go watch her, find out where they're working, just go out, because she doesn't run like anybody else. You know, and I learned to run like her. And the next day, they brought me in, and I had to do like the car. I think spins up, or, or comes driving down the street, and it slides to a stop. She gets out, goes behind a tree, and does her spin around. Well, I had to get out of the car and run, you know, to behind the tree, and that's where the critical part was. How, how was I going to make them think I looked like Wonder Woman or Diana, Diana Prince? So I guess I did it because I stayed for the whole show. I didn't do everything. I don't do motorcycles. So, of course, Debbie Evans came in to do all that. Um, there was a few things I didn't do or like um, aerob aerobatics, you know, I don't do that. I was like her main double, jumping, fighting. Uh, we, we, Linda wanted to do a lot, so we had to keep a little rain on her because we couldn't get her hurt. So she kept wanting to do f more and more fights. We let her do a lot of stuff, but we, she really was good at it. But you can't hurt them. You just, you know, and it's something a star doesn't get. You know, it's like, oh, I'm not, I'm not going to get hurt. Well, if you get hurt, then the company shuts down, and we know how it goes. Well, it wasn't a big deal. Linda didn't, she was glad for me to have the job. And, and I, um, I was kind of proud of myself that I, that I was smart enough to go out and do that. And I don't even know if anybody told me to or whether I just, just went out because I knew I had been working on uh, Bionic Woman, and she had that that very athletic run, that run that, and Linda kind of ran. I mean, not, I'm not putting her down. She just had a different run. Oh gosh, be so, oh, I don't. I'm not working anymore, so I don't have to be. Yeah, you do have to always be politically correct and be nice. Um, and I got along with Linda. We did a lot of things. She rode horses. I rode horses. So we did a lot of horse stuff together on that. Um, Did you bond off the set? Were you friendly? She actually came to my church one time, and I, I'm, I had everybody, all the kids knew that I was doing Wonder Woman. And my my son, who's 45 now, was eight years old, and he used to tell everybody, "My mom, my mama doubles Wonder Woman. My mama, yeah, right, kid. You know, you just giving us this." So he would come home. And he would get pictures of me, and they still didn't believe it. I went down. I told Linda the story. Linda said, "Invite the whole class down on the set. We'll show them." So I got clearance from the school and all that, and they came out for. They watched me go from Jeannie into the Wonder Woman costume, and watched me do a few jumps. And Curtis was the hero for the next five grades, I guess. <laughs> you weren't lying, you know. But if we need your mom, will she come kick our kick this guy's butt or whatever? No, my mom only does that when she gets paid. <laughs> 
But I thought that was really nice of Linda. Because she had to make, you know, that happen. And it made a lot of little kids very happy and kind of in the know. They got to go down and and watch what you know what really took place. It was gosh, he's oh that's a long time ago, huh? Okay, when do I get to be reju rejuvenated? <laughs> where's know. my where's my Botox? <laughs>